Good morning, welcome back to another video. Now this morning we're in my office. So why is that? One, I felt like I needed to get another video out there because I haven't had much of a chance to get out and do anything with a bunch of work commitments and family commitments, so it's been kind of difficult to find time to, to get out and shoot. The other thing is because right now the weather's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Call it what it is. It's been horrible thanks to Hurricane Helene, even though I live you know, up near the Ohio border, near the Ohio River in northern Kentucky, it still was yeah, terrible. I mean, we had high winds, rain, you name it, we've had it. We've been here in my current home. We had you know, without power for over six hours a couple nights ago, you know, just because of the weather, and it just made it pretty much impossible to get out. I really wanted to get out this weekend, but just never got a chance. You know, so thought I'd take a couple minutes and just, you know, talk, see what's going on, kind of share a few things. So first thing is I had a couple of uh, trips or have a, had a couple of trips planned, you know, here in the near future just to, to get out and, you know, share different areas. One, I was planning on going to spend a couple mornings down in the Catalucci Valley and the Great Smoky Mountain National Park photographing elk. I, you know, I've done that. Well, few times over the last couple of years really enjoy it especially in the fall and I really want to do it this year unfortunately based on Hurricane Helene and all the the flooding and everything that's happening down in eastern Kentucky and in uh, western North Carolina the roads are washed out and it don't look like I'm going to be able to go I mean that trip's planned for three weeks from now I don't know if they're going to be able to get everything repaired between now and then so more than likely won't be able to go do that won't be able to share it so I have to come up with uh, some other things to do here at least over the next you know, two to three weeks, hopefully, as the, the leaves turn and the colors come out. You know, not sure what that'll be yet. Uh, Mrs. and I haven't figured it out. You know, and then here towards the end of the year, near Christmas, much like last year, last year we went to Portugal. You know, and I, I shared that in a video. Uh, this year we're doing a Viking Ocean cruise, and we're going to go from, uh, we're going to start in Rome and go all the way to Athens, you know, and spend, uh, you know, Christmas on the, on the high seas. I'll be taking along a camera and I'll be videoing and you know, taking a lot of images, and I, my intention is, at least at this point, to share that with everybody, you know, once I get home. So hopefully, you know, you'll find some interest in that, look forward to that, and, and, and tune into it, you know, after the first of the year, once I get back and get the video and everything, and put together, get all the images, you know, edited and select things to, to share. You know, beyond that, I'm rapidly approaching birthday number 60, you know, about three weeks away from it. You know, eh, yeah, roughly about three weeks away from it, maybe just a little over three weeks, but just three weeks away from it. You know, I don't know if I've shared this before, but you know, 60, for whatever reason, that number's bothered me. You know, 40 didn't bother me, 30 didn't bother me, 50 didn't bother me, but for whatever reason, 60 is a big deal, at least to me it is. So I've been kind of struggling, you know, with that, kind of been depressed, I guess is the right way to put it. And, you know, not sure quite what to do or, or how to deal with it moving forward. You know, I've been pretty much every night I come home from, from work and I just been sitting in the basement kind of doing nothing you know and it's, it's time to change that so I'm gonna try to get more out get out more and do some photographing I'm also gonna try to exercise a little bit more I can't I, I can't you know I just got to get beyond the fact I'm turning 60 you know it's just it, it is what it is you know I'm curious how you know I know a lot of my viewers are my age will be a little younger and certainly a little bit older I'm curious how you you feel or felt about 60 did it have an impact on how you viewed things you know, it's just because it certainly has bothered me up to this point. I just got to put it behind me and, and, and move on. So, you know, yeah, and I wish I could put it in words or explain it. I can't. It's just it's a mental thing that I just can't seem to get beyond. All right, so now, what else do we want to talk about? You know, I, I think probably, you know, the, the biggest subject that's been on my mind here lately is, you know, especially as I approach 60. So I'm asking you this, all right, and I'll share my views as well. But, you know, now, why do we get out? Why do we photograph today with all the technology that's there? You know, all the different cameras that are there. All you know, cell phones are great. You know, why do we get out and photograph? What's the reason? You know, why do we do it? Why is it important? Why do Why do we find? You know, do we even find pleasure in it? You know, just you know, why? Why do I? You know, why do you carry your camera all around the world and take images, take videos, do whatever? Just like me, why do I do that? You know, it, it, it's something, again, as I approach 60, sits in my head. You know, I've invested a lot of money over the years, you know, in different camera equipment. I've taken a lot of time to, to go places, take a lot of images. And, you know, a lot of times I sit here in the office, I look at them on my screen, and I just like, you know, I was just doing it a few minutes ago. I was like, man, you know, we, we 
much as sometimes I wonder why I do it, and I look at the screen, you know, I'm getting a good example. Last weekend, my granddaughters were here for the weekend. Sorry, something in my eye. You know, but it, it, they were here, and we, we, you know, we took some time, and we went to the, to the Cincinnati Zoo. You know, and, and, and I took images, you know, some of the animals took images of them, those kinds of things, just sitting looking at it, and it just, you know, it was like, you know, makes me think of the good times I had. You know, when we were doing that, it certainly gives me images of my grandkids when they're at a young age that, uh, you know, I'll be able to cherish here for as long as I'm left on the planet. And hopefully at some point they'll, you know, enjoy looking back on those things as well. You know, but it just, you know, it, it gets to me. I watched a video just a little bit ago, one of my videos I put together earlier this year, you know, my uh, trip to the Netherlands. You know, I shared that. I got a video for that. And I'll link that, you know. Here at the end, I'll link that if you want to, you know, if you haven't seen it and you want to go to that video. But, you know, I'm just thinking back about that trip, man, I really enjoyed that trip. I videoed it. I took a lot of great images, saw some great sites, met some great people, and I really enjoyed it. You know, and, and having the ability to look back on it, you know, is, is really important. And that's, and it's also done, that's what I'm finding why I do this more than anything. Why, why I, I take images, why I like photography. Is it, it gives me the ability to capture a moment that I can go back and I can look at it. You know, and, and you know, remember, you know, and again, you can't see it because you're looking at me, but over here on the wall in my office is a picture of a squirrel in a tree I took many, many years ago. All right. And, and my wife always makes fun of me. She says, I you know, I need to get rid of that. Well, even like we've got a, a, a cancer event going on at work and she says, why don't you donate that for a raffle? You know, just give somebody else the squirrel picture because she thinks it's creepy. You know, but every time I look at that picture hanging here on the wall, it reminds me of a, a time when I was really young. I was 12, to be perfectly honest. I was 12 years old, and I went out hunting with my dad and my grandfather. All right, I think it was probably the last time I went hunting with my grandfather. You know, because he died, I think, when I was 13 or 14, he died of cancer. But we went hunting, we went squirrel hunting, and, and I was just along to watch them hunt. We were out in the woods, and you know, I hadn't been seeing much, and, and we were just laughing and joking and having a good time. And again, I was 12, I still remember this vividly. You know, and we come to this tree and there's a squirrel up in the corner of the tree and I look at my dad and say, can I, can I shoot it? You know, and my dad hands me his, his 12 gauge Remington shotgun, you know, and I, I aim at it, you know, and I pull the trigger having never shot that gun before and it sends me flying backwards and knocks me on the ground. And the one thing I remember is looking up at the sky. You know, my grandfather's laughing, my dad's laughing, and I'm certainly not laughing because I'm trying to figure out what the heck happened. You know, and, and I looked at my dad and said, so did I get it? Did I get it? And my grandfather chimes in and he goes, you didn't even hit the tree. <laughs> you know, and so I have a picture, even though it was at that time, I hang it on the wall here and it reminds me of that story and that, and that time with my dad who's gone as well, you know, and, and it just reminds me of that trip and it, it, it has sentimental value. And again, so that's why I go do this stuff. That's why I take pictures. That's why I take videos. That's why I, you know, at the end of the day, to me, it's, it's capturing those moments that I can look back on them, you know, and just remember where I was at. You know, there's another picture over here on the wall that you can't see. It's of Gettysburg and some cannons at Gettysburg, you know, and, and I didn't take it. It was actually given to me by a friend who, uh, you know, didn't take it either. He bought it. And he just thought I would like it because I, you know, I've been to Gettysburg. I've taken pictures of Gettysburg, and I really enjoyed it. And every time I look at that picture, I remember my trip, you know, to Gettysburg. You know, and I hope that's what people do as well. You know, is they, do you do you take images so you can look back on things and just remember those moments? You know, are you doing it for the art side of it? You know, are you just doing it to have something to do? You know, I'm not going to kid you. You know, I I I, I live a very stress filled existence with the work that I do. I'm responsible for a lot of people, a, a lot of business, you know, and, and it's, I've been doing it for a lot of years and the stress is just immense. But I find when I go out like into Catalucci or I go out, you know, just in the morning for some of the videos I make, just even if it's for 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if I can just focus on something in front of me and take an image of it, you know, it, it, it lets all that stress and everything disappear. You know, and I don't have to think about it or worry about it. You know, and it's hard to do in the world that I work in, you know, and this, you know, the photography side of it gives me the opportunity just to distance it and take it out of my mind, you know, and I greatly look forward to every minute that I can get out and do it. The challenge is finding minutes to go do it. So I really want to know, you know, in the comments, you know, what do you do? Why do you do it?
Now why? Why do, you, why, why do you take the time, why do you invest the money, the energy to go capture pictures? I'd love to see other people's comments on why you do it. I mean, I, you know, I enjoy photography, I enjoy, I don't care if I shoot full frame, I don't care if I shoot my, you know, my cell phone, or if I'm taking videos, it doesn't really matter to me. I just like capturing images, you know, so I can get away from whatever, and then I've got things I can look back on. You know, like the picture of this girl hanging here on the, on the wall. Which, if I remember correctly, I took that at Holiday Park in Indianapolis many, many years ago. And I think I was shooting Nikon. I think it was, I think it was, this was taken with a Nikon D700 and a, and a Nikon uh, 28 to 300, as a matter of fact. You know, if I remember correctly, that's what I was using back then when I took that, that image. And it, it's something I still cherish to this day, and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. You know, it... it it is what it is, but share the comments. Tell me why, why you, why you do it. Let others know why you do it. I'm really curious. You know, it, 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 it's a lot of fun for me. It gives me the opportunity to get away from the world and gives me things to look back on, and I greatly appreciate it. You know, and I greatly appreciate everybody tuning in. Sorry I'm not out in the field today. I'll try to get out hopefully this coming weekend coming up. You know, I definitely don't get time during the week. Just no chance, long work days and too many things going on. And to be honest, just too stressed out and too tired by the time I get home to want to do much. So, you know, thank you for your time. Thanks for coming along. You know, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, share. You know, try to get the word out. Try to help grow the channel if you feel this is, you know, you know, listening to me ramble on is, is worth uh, people listening to. You know, so, but thanks everybody. You know, appreciate you very much. Till we see you again, stay safe.